Uh, my name is Kwame. I'm 16, and I, my pronouns go by he. I'm chill, very chilling. Uh, you know, I'm you know nice, you know respectful. So, what's your um, favorite memory like from childhood or like from your past? Uh, when I first learned how to play basketball, it was probably when I was like uh, 12 or 13. Um, you know, I was always playing with my, my cousin. He was way older than me, so you know he was teaching me as I grew up. And uh, he pretty much taught me how to play guitar and everything else. So it's like, it all came from him. Really. What happened in your case that you feel comfortable sharing and how did that make you feel? I had gotten a fight at school and um, I guess the guy was way old, uh, younger than me. And like, I didn't know, cause I wasn't really thinking too straight. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, it made me feel like I, it, it wasn't really worth it because you know, I was really bigger than him, you know, I was a really taller, so it was like, the whole situation was just unnecessary. But I was just, you know, steamed up and wasn't thinking right. But my mom, uh, she was pretty sad, you know, she didn't want me in a place like, you know, juvenile. So it was like, you know, pretty heartbreaking. Should young people be arrested in school? Like, yeah, like something, if you really did something to get to that, then yeah, you should write it. What would be like a good reason? Something like bringing a weapon to school or I feel like the officer, you know, should arrest them and take them home before anything like that happens. So. What do you think was a, is a good like way to ensure basically that public schools um, can respect students' rights? The school board, so you know, just watch who they're letting inside of the school. You know, watch who they let teach or watch the administrator, whoever is the principal. Just watch, you know, how they are, how they, you know, how they move. Because it's like you can let anybody in there. How do you think that um, public schools can basically be safe um, while respecting students? Probably like, uh, you know, like special like needs, like they would take kids out of the regular class into another class, something like that. Or like, you know, just not hire those teachers because you shouldn't have to take a, a children out of the classroom to learn just to keep them away from a teacher. So I feel like those teachers shouldn't just be teaching. Do you think that this difference in ages might be part of the reason that there's been like an increase in suspensions? I really do think it's a generational difference. Our generation, if we tried to think like them, we were able to, because we have that mind capacity just to be like, okay, that's how it was back then. I can imagine that, but they can't imagine being like us now. But if you had a million dollars, like what would you spend like on the education um, system? Everything needs to change. Better computers, better. Yeah, like renovation, technology, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah.